Hello, and welcome to the final video of Crystal Clear. I'm sorry I put this off so long. I've kind I've kind of I, I didn't feel like coming back to it. I suppose. Uh, so last stream I stopped in the middle of trying to brute force this dude. And it ended up only taking me another, maybe, three tries after the stream. Uh, I forgot that I had berries. So, paralysis cure berries did the trick. Still took a few attempts, but uh, I got through it. So, hopefully, all that I have left is the presumable champion. And I'm curious to see how he or she cheats. If you're coming here after watching the previous video, thanks. Thanks for watching. I don't know why that one blew up specifically, because, like, no one watched the first two, but, uh, the Cheaters one got a ton of views for some reason. I guess I must have had the berries on uh, Nick and Gleam, because they're the ones missing items. Where did I have on them previously? Did I have anything on them? I could maybe I didn't. I have a bunch of miracle berries. Uh, th these were being sold. Which well, I, I think we saw. I, I bought those on stream. They were uh, being sold at the uh, Pokemart in the front of the uh, Elite Four challenge area. Now let's see if, the, if we can finish this. I guess you'll spoil yourself if you look at the length of the video. I'm expecting like 30 minutes. Hello. Oh, look at this guy. Isn't he something? He's got a giant gold room. Full of gold ratataz. Is it gonna be the creator? Is it gonna be is Shock Slayer gonna be the champion? Please let the champion be Shock Slayer. Yeah, it is. Quite a piece of work you've accomplished. Behind me and in front of you are the doors leading to the last room, the Hall of Fame. I'm here to see if you're a trainer worthy of entering that room. He looks like Vinny, the sprite. SS. Sandendorf. Oh boy. 65. What levels am I at? I'm at under 60 for all my Pokemon. And yeah, he has a weather condition. Did we have Sandstorm before now? I th think one person might have. Or maybe it was two suns and two rains. I don't remember. Oh, I didn't PP back. Who is my fighting Pokemon? Jack, I think? I think he has submission. That's gonna suck a little bit, though. With uh, the recoil. I think Ty Tyranitar's got decent HP. This sounds familiar, but I don't know what it is. I'm gonna I'm gonna elixir my two who need it. I'm start with Jack because I'm I'm way beyond trying to do this legitimately. I don't care. I'm just trying to get to the end of it at this point. 160... Well, okay. It is de I've definitely not spent 116 hours in this game. Most of that is speed up. Like this! I wonder if any shinies are different in this version. I don't remember if any shinies were changed in the uh, crystal version.
Because a lot of them in gold, gold silver kind of did a thing where it just replaced palette colors in specific ways. And so a lot of that, that was the first generation that shinies appeared in, and a lot of those ended up changing their uh, shinies in later generations. Jack, please. I'm not taking that. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna eat two flinches. I just want to see how much submission even does to both of us. I don't think it's gonna one-hit KO him even at four times, but we'll see. Tyranitar has beefy defense. Is there an item that increases fl flinch chance? Yes, there is. There's King Rock. King's Rock. I, that's probably what he has. He's using a high flinch move and King's Rock. Alright, well, I'm dead. Is he dead? Only half. Man. Okay, so even if I land both of those, it will barely do the job. Uh, what, what can Nick do? I think Goji has Earthquake he could use. But I'm sure this guy also has moves that would be super effective against me. Thankfully, I'm faster. I don't have any spe- Okay, that works. I don't have any special attackers on the team other than Alakazam. Alright, Vaporeon. Why you got a- Why you got a Vaporeon, champ? What do I want to do? I guess I should just- Thunder Punch. I don't know what... He's probably going to use a water move. I'm going to sacrifice Gleam for this. Oh yeah, it's building up defense. Well, that won't help against Thunder Punch because it's uh, special, but... It also has Leftovers. Go ahead and make sure I get that Toxic in. This might be more than 30 minutes just because it's like a drawn out battle. But we'll see. Eight minutes so far. Gleam is beefy. He's taking a lot of damage from this. Probably survive one more surf. Maybe. I wasn't paying attention to how much the first one did. This track sounds familiar. I don't know what it is. Alright, well, hopefully I don't need to resort to the poison strategy for anyone else. Uh, oh, that's right, I can't use healing items in these. Is that even going to be better than Psychic? What is Psychic? 90 power? So it would be 135. Yeah, Thunder Punch would be 150. I guess I could have just put Leftovers on all of my Pokemon full up. Well, no, I'd have to dupe for that. Which I have had trouble doing, because either it's crystal or just because it was patched out. Uh, now what? It's probably not going to use Psychic on me. Is it going to use Dark, maybe? Either way, Houndoom should be able to take it. Yeah, Dark. Okay. Sandstorm still going. I, I guess I forgot. It wasn't a move. It's just... He just gets it. He gets a Sandstorm for the whole battle. 
charm will not affect me because I'm a special attacker. How much did Crunch do? Can I survive another one? Ah! Uh, it was a crit! Come on! Nick's gonna be the fastest. I'm gonna do him because that's like future-proofing the next Pokemon. He has the most coverage with his moves. And he might be able to outspeed him. Her. Ice Punch. Nope, not fast enough. Even on the special side, Alakazam is not tanky. This is probably going to take another attempt. So nothing I have will outspeed Decadandy. Dude with his party full of silver and gold Pokemon. Get it? Cause cause he's got the color scheme. A flash man. Uh, I do Goji is not immune to electric is the problem. If I switch he's gonna take a hit, and it's gonna hurt. Do I just... He's also going to outspeed me, so, like, what is this going to do? But... I guess I'll take a crack at maybe lowering his defense by one. Probably just going to one-shot me anyway. Yeah. Alright, Goji is our last chance. Ah, did he have one or two more Pokemon after this? I didn't see. Thankfully, only his o opening Pokemon seems to be immune to Sandstorm. All of his others get hit by it. Oh! Come on! Will my paralyzed Tyranitar, 10 levels below, be able to do anything? That's just, does, does he have a, surely he has a steel move. Fire would be great right now. I have nothing against Scizor. Earthquake is going to be neutral. Actually, Rock Slide will also be neutral. <sighs> What's hidden power? What type is this? It's going to be fighting, isn't it? Could have been water. Could have been grass. Steel. Hurt ground. Tyranitar is actually weak to a lot of types. I mean, this is over no matter what happens, but uh, maybe I can at least see his final Pokemon if Saber keeps using Substitute. And Goji has Leftover, so he can recover a little bit. Sounds like maybe it's a Mega Man X track? He, he still has enough health for one more substitute. <sighs> That's it. Hidden, oh, Steel Wing, not Hidden Power. Still probably gonna be enough. No, it missed, okay. Probably still gonna kill me if he uh, hidden powers. Steel Wing might not? It's 70 power plus stab. Yeah, okay. Alright, so we didn't see his final Pokemon. He opens with Tyranitar, which. 
despite Jack's best efforts, Goji was generally better at dealing with. Is there anything else Jack would be useful against? Not amazingly. Surf is just kind of on him. But he might still be best used against Tyranitar. If I don't get any flinches, he can two-shot him. That's a big if, though. We're doing this again. Here we are. Okay. Jack sacrificed himself to deal with the deadly, uh... The deadly Ganon... Cornando. The Ganondorf. <sighs> okay, so even if I don't have Tyranitar out, he's still gonna want to use Vaporeon first. Alright, I'll just, I'll go straight to Thunder Punch. Because it's probably going to use Acid Armor to open. Which raises defense, but not special defense. I could rearrange items knowing who I'm going to use in this. I think maybe Jack has one of the leftovers. And he doesn't need it if I'm going to, uh... If I'm just making him a sacrifice for Tyranitar. Maybe I did have the right idea with Toxic. Vaporeon's special defense is so high that it's just tanking these Thunder Hits. Oh, God! Did I need him for anything else? There was the... Something that Electric is super effective against. What was that? I don't remember. Shadow can probably outspeed. I don't know what he's gonna send out next. Vaporeon's not gold. I guess it kind of is. I don't know what color it is exactly. It's like yellow and blue. Alright, what do you got? Your water type is down. Flashman, okay. I want to save Shadow for Scizor. Did I go in without a fully healed shadow? I thought I healed everyone. Uh, thunder, thunder, thunder. I guess... Darian's not really gonna be useful here anyway. Sorry, Darian. How much does Thunderbolt do to Tyranitar? Because it's neutral damage. It's special damage. And it's gonna outspeed me. I'm gonna guess half. Okay. Better than that. Alright, what do you got next? Here's Scizor. And Scizor is probably going to open with... What did it use? It used Steel Wing. It used Hidden Power. Did it use a setup move? I'm going to bank on Shadow being able to take one hit and then outspeeding it, because Scizor is not as fast as you would think. It actually has the same stat total as Scyther, but it uh, trades uh, speed for defense.
Uh, that substitute's gonna be a problem. And now it's got a turn, like, it's got a turn on me, so it's gonna be able to attack. What's it gonna do? Hidden power, probably fighting type. Watch it be super effective. Fire or water type. Okay, it's not either of those, because it's not super effective. Can't be ground, either. I don't remember how Shadow lost all his health. Alright, we know it outspeeds Goji, so I'm just going to do the same thing as last time. I'm going to expect it to substitute, and I'm going to use my accurate move to uh, take him out one by one. Thankfully, I can build up health again doing this, so this is actually beneficial to me. Alright, it's out of substitutes, so it's going to use- well, no, it has one more, actually. At least one more. Might- might squeeze out two with leftovers. I hate how many leftovers he has. Maybe he only has two. Because as far as I was able to find... There were only two in the game. Maybe there's more. Alright, hidden power is going to be super effective, but how super effective? Pretty effective. That, it's not fighting, though, so that's only two times damage, whatever that is. I don't remember if hidden power is physical or special in uh, this premier gen. Maybe it depends on its type. Top lettuce. Oh, okay. Uh, so thunder would have been useful. Fire would have been useful. Gleam is not going to be useful against any steel types. He can be a last resort against the final Pokemon, but... Uh, okay, it only has a move that's not very effective against me. Which, leftovers might save me here. What did I start at? 73? 63. Okay, so I am on a time limit. And unfortunately, Rock Slide is not amazingly accurate. I'm not going to outspeed it, so I'm not going to make it flinch. Roost doesn't exist yet. That's Gen 3 it was introduced. Oh, it has Rest! Well, this would be a great opportunity to switch Pokemon if Shadow was still alive. Do I have any moves that could potentially... Uh, you know what? Crunch could lower its defense, but... It's not very effective against... Uh, against Steel-type. What a slap in the face, by the way, that Crunch lowers defense. Dark being a special type. It's one of the many, many, many reasons that everything seemed stacked, stacked towards Dark being a physical type. And it's just not, for some unknown reason. It's going to, uh, it's going to run my PP out. And Gleam can't poison it, so will Gleam be able to do anything against this? It's going to wake up and just start over again. It's going to use rest again. No, it actually didn't. But I know it's going to. Okay, Crunch is actually okay. I'm going to keep using it and hope I get the defense down.
if I get defense dropped by two, then my stuff will deal 200% damage. So two rock slides should take it at that point. No, rest again. Keep using rest. I don't remember drill. I don't think drill peck has a high crit rate. Use rest. Uh, I wish I was faster than it. Okay, it's gonna wake up this turn. Surely it's gonna use another rest. It didn't! Ah, oh, I should've rock slid. No, it didn't matter. Yeah, crit, of course. Gleam's not gonna outspeed this. Not that I don't th I don't think he can do anything. Let me double check what moves he has. I have cut. I have confuse ray. It's not hopeless, but it's pretty bad. Skarmory is not going to do a lot of confusion damage to itself, given its high defense. And Gleam does not have leftovers, so this is, uh... This fight's on a timer! And I can't... I don't think Sand Attack makes Rest less likely to work. I think Rest just always works. It's gonna get Drill Pecks in. You can't even give me that. I'm using frickin' Cut. It's gonna deal two damage to Skarmory. Just let me hit it. Okay. This, this, is, this is a lost cause. I knew that before Cut hit, but, like... That was, the, that was the final nail in the coffin once we were down to just Umbreon. Okay, so I need to keep Shadow or Nick alive for, uh... For Skarmory. Shadow I would like to have out for, uh, Scizor. The problem is just getting it out fast enough. Because Scizor is... I. Now, Shadow's faster, so I will get the first hit in that matchup before it can use Substitute. Okay, why was... I, I guess the stats are randomized a little bit. Let me check what items I have on everybody. Alright, so Jack has leftovers, which might be keeping him alive for... Uh, Why do I even have that on Darien? He's not gonna need that. Uh, I'm going to give Gleam leftovers. Even though two of his Pokemon are Steel types, I'm gonna keep Gleam in my pocket so that I can stall out uh, someone other than the two Steel types if necessary. Goji could benefit from Soft Sand, but does he need it, really? Earthquake is doing fine as is. Also, type boosting items are not very powerful. They're, they're not used a whole lot, but... Uh, uh, just... <sighs> Darien does not need the focus thing. I'll put that on Jack for lack of anything else. And I'll give uh, I'll give Darian a mystery berry. I do have some rare candies I could use. I have six rare candies. Why am I why am I going into this without a full health shadow? That's what's happening. I'm dumb. I'm blind. Heal up, shadow. I, I didn't want to spend a hyper potion on forty on forty HP, because you know. 
I might need those 40 Hyper Potions after this. For this game, I'm never gonna play again. Alright. Will Jack be able to do this without leftovers, is, is the problem. Not if he flinches, definitely. Not if he hits himself with recoil, either, is the problem. Okay, so... The next Pokémon after Go after the Tyranitar is probably going to be Vaporeon. Maybe I should just use Umbreon on, on Vaporeon, because I don't necessarily have a better strategy for it. Need to keep Shadow or Nick alive. I, I guess I'll just I'll, I'll just send out Goji. Will this kill? Probably not. Okay, no, it did. Got some good attack power on Goji. I could boost Jack a couple levels for just for the extra HP for submission, but... Sorry, I had to turn my heater off. How much does Surf do? A fair amount, even against Gleam. I'm gonna Toxic to make sure that I get it off. And it's gonna Toxic me, but that's okay, because this is really the only Pokémon that Gleam really needs to deal with. Oh, hold on, I needed Goji for, uh, for Electrode. Uh-oh. No, Goji's still alive. He didn't faint. wall Pokemon on a champion's team. Uh, I don't really have a better option than Nick. No! Oh! I double inputted by accident. Maybe it'll hit itself. Maybe, maybe this will work out. No, of course it won't. And this is going to take most of my health. If I'd used two Thunder Punches, I think I would have killed it. Now I'm worried that it won't... Okay, Poison will do it. Poison the Sandstorm will ensure my kill. Nick is my fastest Pokémon, which is useful. about Espeon. What am I going to do about Espeon? I know it has... I assume it has a psychic move, and I know it has crunch. I'm going to try Darien, because he's not going to find use anywhere else. What can Darien do? He has Faint Attack, obviously. Does he have any other moves that would be useful? Not really. Sorry, let me turn off my other heater. Hopefully it can't heal. Darien might be able to do this. I 
Nope. Won't help. Special type. That seems like a logic error that it's using. I guess because it thinks I'm a physical attacker because my attack is higher. It's not considering that I would be using dark moves. Oh, God. Oh, come on! Oh, I had that! Ugh, what is my fastest? I guess it's Shadow. Faster than Goji, probably, but... It's not gonna outspeed, uh, Espeon. Okay, did Sandstorm will do it. Unfortunately, I don't know what Pokemon he's gonna say. He's probably gonna send out... He has two Steel types, so he's gonna send out the Electrode now. Which means I have to spend a turn switching. Okay. If Goji can manage this... Unfortunately, it's going to outspeed me, and two Thunderbolts is going to take Goji out. Okay, well, he spent a turn on Reflect. Sandstorm's going to hit him. Maybe two Earthquakes will still be enough. I'm not going to get two Earthquakes, though, because it's going to... Okay, no, th I, I overestimated Thunderbolt. Never mind. This might still be doable, even with the Reflect up. Oh, it's definitely doable. Maybe I was a little bit too worried about Electrode, because all of Electrode's stats went, in, went into its speed. I like him. He's not an amazing Pokémon. Alright, he doesn't have any super fast Pokemon left. However, I do know that this guy outspeeds me and he's going to substitute, so I'm going to start the Earthquake. The Earthquake train. I'm feeling good about this. I can take out- I can still take out most of Scizor with Goji. Now that I've got him trapped in the substitute chain. And then I'll have a totally fresh shadow to go into battle with his fire moves. And I think outspeed Skarmory. What could Scar? Oh, it still had Reflect going, too. That's why- okay. I, that's why I didn't KO the, uh, the substitute. Uh-oh. Well, Shadow will still, like, one-shot. If he didn't have the substitute up, though... I still have hope. Why does Shadow damage? Because I had him out for one turn earlier. Okay. I don't need to be conservative with Flamethrower PP. I'm going to use it. His Substitute's going to break. It's probably going to use Hidden Power, because that's what it used against Shadow last time. It will be neutral, but will deal a lot of damage. This is probably going to come down with what attacks... I don't think Flamethrower is going to one-shot Skarmory. So Skarmory is going to get a hit on me. And it's probably going to use Drill Peck. Oh no! That did so much! Uh... That almost went well if I didn't have that stupid crit happen. Among other things. let us I think we can make this work with what we're doing. I hate this King's Rock. I hate it. You're making me do this, Shock Slayer. You did this to me. Oh my god, stop flinching! You know, I'll, I'll take that if I can get... It is nice if they KO each other. Because then I can come out fresh with, uh, I don't have to spend a turn changing. Not that it's super disruptive. I'm sorry for the audio. 
I could, you know, I could turn it off when I'm speeding up. Options, configure. I thought, I thought there was a, uh, I thought there was a setting for that. I guess there's not in, uh, VBA. I'm faster, and I should be able to take him out. Again, I just have to spend that turn switching into, uh... Switching into Umbreon, which I don't like. Soft Sand would have made the difference that last go, but... Leftovers is just so much more useful for what I'm doing with Goji, especially against the Scizor. This is the wall. Well, Skarmory is also a wall, but Vaporeon is the one that I have to worry about. Why? Okay. I'm gonna use- I'm gonna bet it's gonna use Reflect. Maybe I'll use Thunderbolt. Let me drop a Confuse Ray just to see if maybe I can get a, uh... Maybe I can get a free switch in. Then Gleams! Gleam's gonna take a lot of damage from, uh, from Vaporeon, though. I don't know if it'll be able to get set up. Even this is a 50-50. It's 70-30, maybe. No, it's still 50-50, Confusion damage in this gen. They nerfed Confusion later on so that you only hit yourself 30% of the time. Yeah, Thunderbolt. It'll do, like, a third health. Though, thankfully, Goji is not vital for anything anymore. Do I spend a turn getting an attack off with Goji, now that I don't need him too badly? I still think I should switch to Umbreon. thinking if I could switch to Darien, but he can't do anything is the problem. The only thing that he can deal with is Espeon. Oh, it's gonna hurt. Oh, it hurts. And leftover is... Leftovers is barely compensating. It's faster than me! This is... I guess I shouldn't be surprised given my Pokémon's levels, but this is another case where... Everything has to go just so for this to work out. Who do I really need Nick for besides Vaporeon? I don't need need him for anyone, really. In fact... Well, he can hit Skarmory. With two moves, in fact. He can't really do anything to Scizor, though. What? No, what am I saying? He has Fire Punch. He can do something to Scizor. Unfortunately, Surf one-shots him. I think. No, maybe not. Yeah, pretty close. Maybe Thunder Punch and Sandstorm will do... Yeah, Thunder Punch will do the job. Well... He's got leftovers is the problem. Sandstorm will finish it. Unfortunately, it's not going to finish it before I have to send out another Pokemon. So he's going to be able to send out something in response to me.
If I do shadow... You know what? I'm gonna put in Darien because then I can predict that he's gonna put in Electrode. And then I'll switch to Goji like I did last time. Because even switching in, Goji should be able to take care of Electrode. If this ends up being another bum attempt, I'll, uh, I'll think about who I need to raise some levels with the uh, six rare candies that I have. Also, he did not switch in Scizor. I mean, he didn't switch in Electrode, he switched in Scizor for some reason. I don't think I'm gonna outspeed it, but I can use Nightshade to probably guarantee that I take out the substitute each time. I am gonna outspeed it, okay. Maybe Darien can do this. Maybe Darien's more useful than I gave him credit for. The problem is he's slower than me, so he's not going to get trapped in that, uh, that substitute chain like he would against Tyranitar. And there goes Darien. Well, I have a chance to swap in Shadow, but if I do, and I one-shot him, he's not going to send in Skarmory. He's going to send in one of the others. I forget what moves Espeon had that I have to worry about. Psychic and Crunch, neither of which are going to do much to Goji. Which means he's probably not going to send out Espeon. He's going to send out either Electrode or Skarmory. Skarmory being the worst of the two for me. Because I really want Skarmory... I really want to send in Shadow Fresh on Skarmory. Thankfully, I don't think the AI is smart enough in this game, even as much as I'm sure it's been programmed, to, like, take note of and remember moves. Like, it's not gonna remember, it's not gonna take note that I have Earthquake and use that as a point to not send in Electrode. Hidden Power is going to do a lot to me, unfortunately. And if Electrode comes in now, it's going to outspeed me and Thunderbolt's going to kill me. Is there anything I can do to avoid that? Okay, it sent out... They sent out Skarmory instead. Whom I can't really do anything against. I can rock slide it into going into rest mode. And then get a switch in with... Flame Man. Shadow. But then I still have to deal with Electrode after that? Or is Espeon... Does he have three Pokemon still left? Is Drill Peck gonna kill me? No, it won't. Okay. These two were more or less a stalemate. Top Lettuce does have the advantage because uh, it has rest, and I can't deal damage fast enough to uh, deal with that. However, if I can get him to... <laughs> Sorry, you didn't need to hear those noises. If just one thing goes wrong in these fights... Well, probably not going to happen, but let's see if Shadow can finish things. yogurt sitting next to me because I recently had the bright idea to, I went to the store and, and to the frozen yogurt in the ice cream section and I thought why is it all creamy stuff why is it all yogurt trying to be ice cream where's the like the tart frozen yogurt and then I realized that I could just freeze yogurt so I tried that but uh, that doesn't work very well as it turns out frozen regular yogurt takes like two hours to thaw and it still doesn't thaw very well. It's just all icy. Is this his final Pokemon? 
I don't recall wanting to be the best trainer. Yeah, stroke your ego. What? I don't know what it's gonna do to Shadow. I have good moves against it. It's gonna outspeed me. It's gonna use Crunch, which will be not very effective, but okay. Maybe this is it. We can do this! Oh no, Crunch does lower special defense. That's good. You know what? Maybe I was getting it confused with, uh... Maybe I was getting it confused with Modern Crunch? Maybe Modern Crunch still lowers special defense, despite now being a physical move? And that's the contradiction I was thinking of? I think Shadow Ball, which is a physical move, also lowers special defense. I mean, in these gens, it's a physical move. Anyway, hey! Somehow, that finally worked. And we didn't even have to use our rare candies. 51 minutes. Okay, longer than half an hour. Not two hours. Part of the reason I was putting this off was because I was worried it was going to turn into, like, even an even worse situation than the fourth Elite Four member. And I was just going to spend three hours banging my head against the wall on the champion. I did bang my head against the wall, but, uh... Oh, are you serious? You're joking. And I'm not gonna get a heal, am I? Can I heal now? I can heal now. I'm gonna- I'm gonna be safe. I'm gonna use a max revive. My only max revive. What is gonna be best at taking the attacks of a legendary Swinub? Not Nick. I guess Gleam is the, is the best for surviving. Just in case he has some amazing super move and takes out Shadow right now. I also assume that I can run, but... Can't escape. Okay, no, it, it forbids me to run. This is a dick move, having this here, but uh, at least I can use healing items again, so th this isn't going to beat us. And I guess it doesn't have anything that can hit me besides Sandstorm? Is anyone really going to obsess about catching the Swinub? I'm not. Piggy, Pidgey, Piggy. I'm gonna say it in every way wrong that I can. You took on an extra Pokemon and still won a true champion. Is anything else gonna jump out at me? Are they gonna cheat like you five did? Maybe we like modern Pokemon games and I'll get another chance to uh, catch it later. Or maybe I can't catch it. Maybe it's, uh... Maybe it's like his Pokemon. And I'd be stealing. No. No. Well, I'm happy it's over, at least. That, that's a good feeling. Kinda knew that you'd make it. I'm proud of you for accomplishing this victory. Alright. Well, we had to sacrifice some team members along the way. Had to because they sucked. I don't trust anything anymore, so I'm going to save here. Saucy the Sneasel. And uh, who else? We had one other Pokemon that we got rid of, didn't we? Or was Saucy the only one we dumped? Oh well. Sorry, other Pokemon, if you exist. Winds of change have blown across the lands. So that presumably unlocks some post-game stuff. Maybe it uh, spreads more Pokemon around. Probably opens some new areas. The way they phrase that makes it sound like 
something would change across the entirety of the game. I don't know, though. I don't know the full details of uh, what this hack includes. It does have an achievement set on retro achievements. Which I'm not going to do. But uh, exists. I think Emerald Rogue also has them. A surprising number of hacks have them. In fact, I'm playing a Majora's Mask Master Quest right now. Very good, for the most part. Would generally recommend. Alright, well I was expecting to see credits, but I guess they spared us. They decided not to uh, do that, because, I mean, who cares? Everyone just waits for the credits to be over anyway. So, final thoughts. I kind of fell out of love with this game as I played it. Some, some to do with the blatantly unfair stuff that was happening the past couple streams. That one guy who ambushes you on your way into the Elite, elite Four was kind of a dick move. And I've mentioned this before, but I think I would personally prefer if this was more or less just crystal but open world. I don't like all the, the fan stuff and in-jokes and so on that uh, were inserted into this. Makes it feel like a ROM hack. If you like ROM hacks, great. And it's not a problem for you. It just makes me a little less interested in the game. Uh, if you stuck it out all the way until the end of this, thank you once again for watching. This is the end of my crystal clear playthrough. Probably the last ROM hack that we'll be doing. Either ever or for quite a while, because I don't usually do these. But uh, no, you know what? The next Pokemon thing I'll do is probably going to be a uh, fusion, because I have been meaning to get to that and have not. I don't know how quick that'll be, though. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you whenever Jack's computer is fixed and we can stream again. Bye.